so much for tuning in. I am Love of Fragrance and on this particular channel I bring you many variations of videos in reference to specifically fragrances. A large variation of fragrances and they aren't, aren't all specifically body fragrances so you have to tune in to discover all the lovely fragrances that this world has to offer to you. And without any further ado I would like to get into this but before that hello you teens. And I also would like for you to subscribe to my channel and also would like for you to give me a thumbs up. So please give me a like in this particular video and also I would like to be able to comment with you because I want to chat with you. I want to know how you feel about my video. So please subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Okay, today I have a video in reference to Chloe. You know how much I love Chloe, the fragrance, which happened to be a pill of their per collection. Chloe is a beautiful fragrance with a very lovely fragrant aroma applied toward it. But this particular fragrance I'm bringing to you today because of the fact that my uh, acquaintance provided me another fragrance and it's a gift box. And you know I love unpacking my gift boxes because they're such so many variations of items that comes inside of a gift box and when I receive one I just want to bring it to you and for you to share the gift that I have received with me and here particularly I want you to know that I already have a Chloe fragrance but apparently someone was aware of it <laughs> I have one here and it's beautiful I love it it's have such an elegant, oh, luxurious, elegant fr a fragrance applied to toward this fragrance. But this here is a gift box. And that's why I'm bringing it to you today because it is an individual fragrance. And I just get a kick out of all the little spectacular items that's included in the gift boxes. So we're going to open this right now. I just took the cellophane off. And I'm going to open this box and show you all the goodies in here. I hope you enjoy this as much as I do because, honey, this is a highlight of receiving a gift box to me, opening it, opening it, and seeing all the goodies. Look, I'm going to share my goodies with you, and look how eloquently it has this here soft tissue paper aligned here. It looks like you think of Christmas, doesn't it? All the delicate tissue that come with it. It has a little gold emblem here to seal the tissue together. But, honey, let's open this up right here. It's kind of stuck on there. But let's open this up delicately and gently together. One side. And then we open the other side. I've never taken it out. I've actually, I glanced at it, but I've never officially opened it before. We're going to take these babies out of here. But before I do that, I want to compare the sizes. I know this one right here is a three ounce. Let's see if this one's a three ounce also. Yes, they're identical. Isn't that a blessing? Oh my God, I thought it was something. Um, the noise was coming from up there, but that's me. The glasses hitting on one another. And they are identical, so that tells me it's the very same product. Chloe Nomade. That's the name of this product. As you can see, the name of their Chloe, and it's packaged so luxuriously elegant. Let's take this baby out so that I can enjoy my second Chloe. Thank you very much, my acquaintance, for another gift. And here we have the three ounce of the Chloe Edu perfume. This is an Edu perfume right here. And then it appears that we have like a 2.7. It's a little bit smaller. I'm thinking that there's a possibility it could be shifted down a little lower so it makes it look smaller. But that isn't the case. It's a little smaller. So I would say that we have a body lotion here that's probably about a size 2.7. And right here has one of my most spectacular lovely elegant charming 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 um fragrance containers overall which happens to be the miniatures we have a miniature here and it's the same fragrance and it's chloe no me but it's in a miniature size so i received three lovely packaged items in this particular gift box and they appear to be all adorable i have never possessed a chloe lotion before and so i'm going to get into sniffing that and getting a whiff of that to let you know whether or not it's identical to the fragrance itself because I am definitely a Chloe Nome lover and I'm also going to get into the miniature to let you know if it also smells identical because the scent is what I love most about the Chloe Nome. Sometimes I'm going to let you know I fall in love with the packaging. I love this packaging as well. The box, the bottle, the way it's designed and everything 
and it's very impressionable but with this particular fragrance what really impressed me most of all happens to be the fragrance itself so let's just take it out they're generally very complicated to get out oh the lotion came out easy hmm, the miniature came out fairly easy and now let's see fragrance itself is a little bit more challenging. Ooh. I'm going to have to turn this box upside down, looks like it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I really want to get this out. I really want to get this out. I really need to get this out. I really have to get this out. Look at here. I still can't get it out. <laughs> I guess you can just use the other one. No, I can't use the other one. It wouldn't be the same. That's cheating. That's cheating. I can't cheat. Okay. It's empty now. Look, it has ghost to the flame paper on the bottom to protect the fragrance itself. And it's the only one that has that. Okay, we're going to set this right here to the side. And let's get a switch for this fragrance and see if they're similar or identical. Should be identical. Remember before I told you, oh God, it's the first time it's ever been open. And when it is the first time that they're open, honey, the fragrance is so potent. Oh my God, it's powerful. It explodes right in front of your face. Oh, it smells so heavenly. Oh, such an exquisite amount of richness applied to this fragrance here. And it has a Chloe Norway emblem right here on the side like gold electric electro plated right here and it has a nozzle oh yes and this the top is on here so secure also and it has the tussle just like my other one as a matter of fact i've never taken the cellophane off of this one the only difference i see in these two particular ones happens to be the tussle the tussle on this one came in cellophane paper and is shorter and the tussle on this one came much longer without silicone paper because, and they both have an electric gold plate on it. As you can see, I've utilized this one very minimal, but I'm gonna take the, good the tassels are different. That's the way I can make a distinction, distinction of the fragrance itself. So I'm gonna smell this one right now. Oh my God. Oh. This one smells very nice, very similar to this one, but it's a little bit lighter because I've had it a little bit longer. I'm gonna apply some of this one on this particular arm over here, on this, on my wrist. Honey, I'm gonna bathe in Chloe tonight, yes. <laughs> and then I'm gonna spray this one over here on this wrist and I'm gonna, you know, sometimes your body chemistry changes the overall aroma of the fragrance. I don't want that to happen with this one because I generally never had a complication with it, but it can happen, so I'm testing them because I have two, and I want to ensure that they're authentic. So, honey, they're authentic. <laughs> they're legit. I have two beautiful, lovely uh, bottles of Chloe Domain fragrance. How you know I love fragrance. This here is a pillar of Chloe fragrances as a whole. And I smell, oh my God, it's so potent. It penetrates so loud to the point where all I have to do is this, give you a swift of it, you know. It's like leaves a exquisite, lovely, penetrating floor trail as I maneuver. It follows, it follows you. Okay, so since we have the fragrance on, and we're satisfied with that and they are authentic and I generally like to check, especially if I have two fragrances that are identical, I wanna make sure that one of them isn't, I would say, uh, a dupe. I wanna make sure of that. This is the first time I've ever possessed any Chloe lotion. Ah, oh, it smells heavenly, it really does. Let's put a little bit of this on. I know I'm not gonna be able to smell it very well, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Oh, too much, girl, too much. You did too much. Let's put it back. Too much. I'm the only one gonna be using this, I think. So, I don't need so much because I'm smelling really luxurious right now. Oh my God, this Chloe No Maid, honey. 
This is one of the most exquisite fragrances that's on the market. Yes, and you know what? It used to be very, very, very expensive, but it's a little bit more affordable now. So you can find this pretty accessible in definitely in all the major uh, department stores. But however, many stores in many states aren't exactly open right now. But however, we're almost out of the um, government shutdown ban and a lot of resources are reopening. So in our particular area, the stores are going to be reopening very soon. So... Anyone in this particular area desire to purchase Chloe No Maid right now, I want you to know if you waited like three months or 45 days during this quarantine and you aspire to attain a new fragrance, this is your girl. Oh, the lotion. Honey, I have on the fragrance and it's very loud, it's very bold and bold and it's exceptionally exuberating itself in this here particular room and on my body. Huh? I like that. The lotion is very light. It doesn't uh, overpower the fragrance itself. It's very light. It's very delicate. I'm going to put a little bit more on just to make sure. No, I just sniff it. It's very light. And it's almost like the fragrance, the lotion itself does not smell identical to the fragrance. I'm going to put some on anyways, just to be sure. I don't want to give you any misrepresentation of this particular fragrance, honey, because this is a pillar, a pillar of Chloe, and it's Chloe No Maid, and anyone that smells this fragrance are going to have the same perception regarding it that I do. It's exquisite. It's beautiful. It has a lovely, lovely, lovely aroma applied to it, but it's a little bit more distinguishing than the fragrance itself. Okay, now, moving on to the miniature. Let's try this. How does it come off? I think, oh, God. Look at there, it has the little bitty emerald on it also. It comes off, but wait a minute. Does anything come off? Oh, the whole thing comes off. Oh, it has a little nozzle. I mean, it has a little screw top there, and the whole cap comes off. See right there? Mmm, it smells so nice. This smells identical to the fragrance. It smells identical. So we're gonna just enhance myself a little bit more with this. No, you better not. Mm. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go right here, put a little bit here, and a little bit here, and use it very sparingly so I have more of an aroma at the top part of my body as well as my lower extremities. So now we're gonna close this back up and you know what? It's a miniature amount, so therefore it isn't as potent unless I really drench myself with it because I collect these little miniatures as well. And this is going into my miniature collection. And I'm so grateful to my acquaintance for this because I'm always looking for miniatures. So if you want to send me some miniatures, please do. I would appreciate that because I love fragrances as a whole. And to me, these are miniature samples. To me, this is a sample of the fragrance, but it's identical to the large fragrance. It's just that it doesn't seem to be as powerful because you have to use it much more sparingly. So the application process is very minute. So the scent itself, uh, unfortunately, comes out a little bit more minute. I just want to be sure of that. I hate to say it, but it doesn't really appear to smell identical to the original Chloe three ounce container it's much lighter it appears to be much lighter to me but you know, I could be wrong maybe I need to just trust myself with a lot more but now that I have two three ounce Chloe no maid I think I will dress myself very fluently okay but getting into this particular fragrance like I said before this Chloe no maid is one of the fragrances that I highly highly admire not just because of the packaging or the way it's um, design in the bottle and everything which is luxuriously exquisite which I highly admire but it's because of the fact that it's a pillar of the collection which means that it has some very luxurious and exquisitely designed notes aligned in this particular fragrance and it blended so beautifully and to the point where you can't help but appreciate it this Chloe No Maid comes to you in a combination of floral notes with a gr gr an exceptional amount of um, jasmine in this particular fragrance here and it has some powdery notes applied to it and it's exceptionally feminine so you will enjoy the femininity of this because it gives you that aroma of intensity 
from a femininity perspective. So I'm sure you will enjoy that. The Chloe Nome happens to be an exceptionally unique fragrance. It's very unique. And I love the fact that it's unique because of its design of a, <clears throat> excuse me, a cypher composition. A cypher composition and this fragrance has the notes of marabella plum, a freesia and an oak moss applied to water and the fragrance invokes nothing less than an exceptional amount of freedom which constitutes an exceptional amount of boldness because it's a, a soft, gentle, delicate, fresh, bold fragrance. But not only that, it exuberates a great deal of extensive amount of adventure. And the adventure in this fragrance leads you on to the most intimate and sensual amount of luxuriousness that any fragrance can actually provide towards you. And at the same time, it's very, very, very long lasting. So you will definitely appreciate this fragrance and this fragrance will grant you the sustainability that beyond your expectations because of the scent it is projects, but not only that is fresh, it has a little bit of sweetness, a gourd sweetness pertaining to it, and it's very adventurous. And the oak moss in it gives it a little bit of bitterness in it, but not exceptionally to the point where it's distasteful. It's a very tasteful fragrance that grants you the sustainability from its longevity that you would appreciate because of the overall aroma. It's very pleasant and I highly admire it and it gives you that richness of peel. It gives you the peel that of richness and loveliness and characteristics that are beyond your expectations. So therefore, I highly recommend that you invest in Chloe Nome. It's readily accessible to you now and so in the stores because the majority of the stores are reopening and it's very affordable and easily accessible because of the type of characterization that this particular fragrance has is very marketable and it's easily accessible. So therefore, I recommend to you today, since I have been blessed with two of them, <laughs> I thank you so much for tuning in and I highly recommend Chloe no made to you. Please invest in this fragrance. You will not be disappointed because honey, Chloe exuberates nothing but richness, 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 richness. And this particular fragrance in it makes me smile because I love every ounce of it and I'm sure you will also. So do me a favor, invest in Chloe and please subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.